What's up guys? So this is a video about internet fame. Some of you may be aware of the recent drama and interest in the community surrounding Sam or XJaws, a YouTuber and internet personality now turned crazy preachy hyperactive drug addict. For those of you who haven't heard of Sam, he was one of the earlier COD channels on YouTube and rose to fame with his tips and tricks, peaking at over 1 million subscribers back in 2012. He was also at the centre of the YouTube giveaways drama which involved using prizes such as headsets or consoles as a tactic for growing his channel. This was something I never really had a problem with but which for some reason caused hundreds of commentators to turn into weeping, immature crybabies. Yep, yeah, never understood that. He then pretty much disappeared from the public eye and from YouTube for almost a year, surfacing only to post pictures of himself with Soldier Boy and Justin Bieber, until a few months ago when he made what I assume was supposed to be his big comeback. Since then his online activities have mainly consisted of freaking the fuck out on Twitter on a daily basis and appearing high on podcasts, rambling about business ideas and information diets because apparently that's actually a thing. Brilliant. We're all up to date. Now, I say all of this mainly for the purposes of comedy, but this video isn't about hating, bashing, or trolling Sam, and it's definitely not about criticising and judging people for their life decisions, no matter how funny or easy it might be to do. You see, I'm the same age as x give or take a year, and it's interesting to think about what I might have done in his shoes. Designer shoes, mind you, Sam has said that overall he earned around $800,000 from YouTube, which is a hell of a lot of money to give an 18-year-old kid, especially one who thirsts for popularity and recognition. For me, x is a classic example of one of those famous people who does alright for a bit, then just goes batshit crazy and ends up totally destroying their reputation through a series of unbelievably poor decisions. Amanda Bynes, Miley Cyrus, the list goes on. But the thing that sets x apart, for me at least, is that he was one of us. He was just a nerdy kid who uploaded videos that we all watched. If it wasn't for all the viewers and subscribers, it's highly unlikely his life would have taken the bizarre turn it did. And while I'm not suggesting that that makes us, the gaming community, responsible in any way, I can't help but feel we should be trying to look out for him. The real motivation for making this video came after watching x on the Painkiller Already podcast, which was honestly something I found quite difficult to do. He talked about the way he'd squandered his money on drugs and pointless luxuries and rambled on about secretive ideas that will supposedly make him millions, but beneath the hyperactive, frantic exterior, there was an air of desperation. He knows he's fucked up pretty bad, and he wants more than anything to be back on top, back in a position where he's respected and admired by other people, but he doesn't really know how to achieve that. He's an addict, struggling with Adderall and other drugs, and it seems like no one is there to help him recover. Sure, Woody and the others on the podcast gave the impression of looking out for his best interests, but it's pretty obvious that his role on the show was that of the circus clown. Let's all point and laugh at the crazy guy! Now, give me that YouTube money. Well, I have a different proposal. Let's not. Sam really needs to get his head out of his ass and sort his life out. But by giving him an audience for his bullshit and egging him on just to see what happens next, we are making the problem worse, not better. Anyway guys, that's all for today. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.